Well, I personally would just really like to say how much uh, the work on, on the show for the both of you and, and watching Fort Will together really matters uh, and, and is leaving a, a really great beacon and imprint with the uh, with the LGBT community and, and how important it is right now, especially with LGBTQ rights being under fire and, and, yep. uh, and how important it is to watch you two together at, on screen. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so, so happy that, you know, that our, our characters um, have developed this relationship at, for, for that reason. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. And everyone's been so like, the fans have been so sweet and yeah, so receptive. It's been great. We keep getting like fun. <laughs> yeah, they're so cute. I honestly, like, I used to be like hard in my 1D phase and also my hairy phase, like not that long ago maybe currently <laughs> but uh I remember always trying to make edits but I cannot do it they're so hard to make so I really appreciate all the love and support that everyone's been giving us so yeah it's been really cool and I'm really glad that everyone's been you know loving the uh, relationship so far yeah uh I mean, it's not often we get to see women loving women ships have this uh, sustainable relationship because of certain tropes. And, and of course, seeing Candace last episode make this declaration um, to Lily is, is quite rare to watch on screen. And, and I have this one episode reunion that sort of had a little bit of soft thanks, slow burn mm-hmm. to it, but it also <laughs> is a really great high bar. And um, we talked a little bit about, you know, like this is such an important imprint to the LGBT community. And I wanted to sort of ask a little bit about like for, for each of you, what it's like to portray not only these strong female leads, but, you know, ones who are bucking these typical tropes. I feel really honored, honestly. It's, it's really cool to, to be able to play a character that, um, you know, everyone's been liking so far and everyone's been, you know, appreciating the representation and it's been highlighting, you know, relationships that aren't normally shown on TV or not of as of yet. So <laughs> I think that's great. And I just, I really am grateful to be doing a, a, a role like this because I'm it's, it's, it's my first recurring role, so I'm very happy to be off to a great start. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally agree. Like, I am so loving the representation on this show and getting to be a part of that representation. I mean, it's so it's so gratifying. It's so fulfilling um, at, for sure. And just, you know, to receive that feedback from from people uh, who are so happy about, you know, this this particular mm-hmm. relationship or or just the representation and the diversity in the show I mean like it that's that's why the show was made right like that's that's why that's why we we do what we do right we we want to have people f- relate and we want to have people you know mm-hmm. see themselves and see situations exactly. that you know, actually do happen in every day um mm-hmm. and I'm so hoping that you know this continues to happen in film and tv you know these sort of these sort of relationships and um these sort of you know I hope it continues that these tropes sort of get dismantled um, because I've been loving how the show is doing it. And so I cannot wait to be crossed for season two. Yes. Um, we can yes. show more. Um, I, I'm so hoping, so, so hoping. Well, yeah. for, Ju- for Julia, I mean, Candace could have easily been a stereotype and we, we talk about tropes, but, you know, we've really gotten to see a lot of really layered and, and refreshing nuances to her and wanted to sort of ask you um, when you first got her breakdown and kind of subsequently the scripts after and what really kind of stood out to you about the character and obviously eventually this beautiful arc that we've gotten to witness for her opening herself up more. Well, thank you, first of all, but I think I think the writers really nailed it. And I, I too, like when I first um, received the breakdown and the started reading the script, I, I kind of thought that she was more of a stereotypical mean girl, you know, still fun to play. And uh, but I was really delighted the more I read into her and, you know, how honest her character was later on. And um, it was just really cool to play out that arc and see all sides of her and um kind of show a, a different side of a character that um or like a character trope that you know isn't always as popular but um I think it's it's cool and um I'm really happy about how the way um uh, you, everyone's been liking it <laughs> <laughs> 
she's certainly become someone you know we can relate to and also root for at the same time when we talk about those th those types of characters that can kind of be brutally or icy to towards people but um it's mm -hmm. important to see that you know her own struggles as well and, and what are what she's sort of vulnerable about and, and as well yeah definitely I, I was really glad to see um and play out those you know vulnerable aspects and you know have you know get to play both um you know fun mean girl but also not fun mean girl <laughs> not fun but uh <laughs> but, uh, but those <laughs> characters are always kind of fun to play sometimes but also um you know like the sweet honest side and you know get to see the vulnerability with her and um why she is the way she is well we do have the um finale coming up um this wednesday mm -hmm. and i would be remiss because um we we sort of samantha and i were talking before about how the show <laughs> re really relates to 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 me and, and uh, we talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer and mm -hmm. um, we know what happened at dances at Sunnydale High with the prom <laughs> or at least those of us who've watched you. Uh, what, what can you share about the upcoming <laughs> dance we see this season uh, in the season finale of Fine mm -hmm. Academy? Oh, for the dance, okay. um, ex I, I you can expect uh, a lot of beautiful sort of um, scenery. I mean the props that that absolutely mm -hmm. killed it i mean they, they set up the dance yeah. in, this, in, in this like cafeteria in, in this like small school in st john's and they made it look magical um and you can expect this to be a very eventful night um mm -hmm. and slightly uh, less you, dancing from episode four slightly but uh yes, i mean like, you'll have yes. to watch to find out <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> but yeah um also michelle kills it in this episode i am so excited for everyone to watch her character <laughs> sorry I, like, I just actually started remembering her remembering I, it like flashback yeah <laughs> i i love megan and michelle everyone knows oh, that but um she so is a funny girl okay continue <laughs> sorry about that. no that's literally it that's all that's literally it yeah i just i can't say too much but um yeah expect it to be a very fun a fun fun part of, of this episode for sure mm -hmm. i mean i was gonna ask if there's any like things to tease for fans or easter eggs to watch out but you're talking about michelle so like that's a whole bunch in itself that i've been so riddled in <laughs> watching her work honestly i think yeah. that's just me every day on set to be honest <laughs> like, I, she's a she do improv and <laughs> yeah i'd break character it wouldn't be good i don't oh god i love her but um yeah, it's definitely fun, and uh, you know, hopefully things are looking up for the characters. But uh, I guess mm -hmm. we'll have to watch to see. But um, yeah. Also, just to tease again a little bit, just a lot of questions get answered in this last episode. There's a lot, and a lot more, a lot of new questions sort of come of those answers. Definitely spooky. <laughs> that, uh, that sounds like you know a lot of reasons for for fans to continue their support and to continue the advocacy to to sci-fi uh for their efforts towards sec the second season absolutely yes i want oh, to yes. To season two so bad putting it out <laughs> in the universe we are manifesting this we i can't wait to get on set woo season two yeah it's happening so excited it is happening <laughs> thanks so much sci-fi you're the best ever <laughs> <laughs> guys say uh tell sci-fi thank you for okay let's um pass this sorry <laughs> Sam, you should know to interrupt me when I bit. go on rambling. You should know this by now. Come on. I know. I love it. I love Please it. help me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, I, I just wanted to ask them kind of um, what's been the most meaningful meaningful for you both then about getting to portray such relatable and, and really signifying standout relationship in, in this sort of sci-fi setting that we get to see as well. It's something, um, something to treasure and, and something different. Um, that I've gotten to enjoy personally. And I know that the fans like we keep Aww. talking about have really latched on to like the great cleverness of the writing as much as the setting and becomes a character in itself. Mm -hmm. I yeah, think it was I so just, fun. Yeah, I think I just really appreciate that, you know, this, this relationship, it isn't super, um, I don't know how to explain it. I guess I know we keep using the word tropey, but it, but it's but it's true because you don't like you don't see these you don't see this this 
I don't know, you, you don't see that dynamic very often um, between these two sort of like stereotypical characters. And um, so, yeah, it's just, it's been really amazing getting to, getting to play this and getting to be a part of it. Um, Definitely. And I just, and yeah, I, I just hope it, this, this just continues. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think that it's also, it's really cool how, um, you know, a lot of fans came for the monster hunting, you know, sci-fi show, but then, you know, realized that there's also, um, you know, some other relationships in the show. And, you know, it was a fun treat. I know that I've, I've been reading a lot of my DMs and uh, it's been really cool to, to know that um, people have been appreciating that it's not just a show about this relationship, but it's only, you know, a small segment of, you know, everyday life, not everyday life for everyone, but like, you know, of a, a normal relationship. And I think that it's cool that, it's a lot of fans came for the monster show, but also we're delighted. To see for the <laughs> yeah, I'm, I was going to say, I mean, yeah, there's obviously monsters and, and Astrid and Lily, not the characters, but the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, although there were, there were clones. <laughs> but, True. Oh my. But sometimes uh, the, the inner demons, it really kind of shows like sometimes inner demons are, are kind of the worst ones at times. And I wanted Definitely. to kind of just ask you as a final question, what you hope fans have really taken away from watching the development, either through see between yes. your characters of Fort Well. Okay, I have an answer now. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I got distracted. Um, but I, I, that um, communication is key. Don't yes. not communicate. <laughs> like don't leave it on the cliff notes just talk about it and be honest and yeah yeah definitely and I think I think something else that like I hope they're taking away with there was there was a quote and I and Alex Markman she had retweeted it um it was a quote that Lily said when Candace and Lily were uh in the drama closet at the beginning of episode nine and she was just like um she was like I oh what did she say something like I'm oh I'm not my biggest fan all the time but even I know I deserve better than that mm -hmm. I I really hope that fans can take that from this relate like from this relationship and just you know hopefully hopefully you know resonate with the fact that you have to put yourself first and you like you have to put your needs first sometimes and like it's okay to do that and you know you don't always have to just like fall back on what's easy sometimes the harder route like mm -hmm. the harder route will you know end up you know having a more successful ending so um yeah always have to stand up for yourself yeah no for sure and I and I, and I feel like that, that was that was great for me to to me to play and for me to see Lily get to that point where she was able to do that for herself so um mm -hmm. yeah and also you know also of course I want fans to take away the whole message of the show is that you know it really doesn't matter what what you look like or you know who you are you you deserve love <laughs> um mm -hmm. and uh and and you yeah you deserve to be accepted um and you don't it doesn't have to be you don't have to earn it earn love it's, 